Now we're going to look at uh, Furuhashi. Now I'm not going to analyse his goal. His goal actually came from very similar what we just discussed in the last video with Beaton actually stepping forward. And this time instead of playing the ball to Soro, he just keeps stepping forward, stepping forward, drives into that space. And Furuhashi shows some great movement to peel off and get the ball in behind. But about 21 minutes, and nearly 22 minutes, Furuhashi just shows so much good movement in the clip. And it doesn't really lead to anything, but I think it's something that Celtic fans should get quite excited about. Taylor works the ball back to, to McGregor. Furuhashi is out here at this point, and he just drops into this position in here, receives the ball, bounces back to Sorrow. Now, as he does that, Abada comes in off the right. Furuhashi recognises that and pulls wide. Now, I think the ball gets clipped through. It gets won. Turnbull picks up the loose ball. And again, Furuhashi's on the move again. This time, he runs across in here looking for the ball in behind. Doesn't quite work out. The ball ends up with McGregor. Furuhashi moves all the way across into this position and is looking for it at feet. Again, doesn't get it. The ball works out to Forrest. Furuhashi again points to look in behind and that movement drags the centre half out and allows Forrest to come inside. And I think he has a shot that's blocked and goes out for a corner. But just in that sort of 30 seconds, he drops short. He fills in the spaces wide. He then comes back in to make a run in behind. He then looks for feet inside the box. He then makes another run to take away defenders. It was really fantastic, and I think Celtic have got a player in there that's going to be able to offer them so much movement, and it means the front three are able to interchange and move around, which is obviously very difficult to defend against.